All of these visuals look pretty cool, and I'm gonna remove two cents for that. Here's a montage of events that we're not going to do in this game. I mean, you gotta be impressed that Cooper's able to beat a Camaro in his S13 with no drag equipment. Oh no! Cooper's got that metal mask! Now that's, that's what I'm talking about! Ryan Cooper's been killing for years! Just uh, on the wrong side of the wall, you know what I'm saying? Okay, this isn't a sin regarding about Big J's line there, but I just want to point something in regards about the storyline theory as sort of an unpopular opinion. If you truly believe that RC is the man we played since Underground 1 up until this game, wouldn't you think that it could mean different events that aren't Underground and Most Wanted Carbon related? Thank you so much for coming out today. Everyone here at Battle Machine is super psyched you could be here. Yeah, you know, I ran a lot of street races too. Well, that was quick on how Rio got that mic. Well, it may be Like, oh yeah, check it out. There's Ryan Cooper in that green S13. He's been on fire today. That dude's definitely a Battle Machine prospect. No, I don't know about this Cooper guy. He never would have cut it back in the day. They must have really lowered the standards this year. Is it a cliche that the main antagonist just hates you at first sight because you're doing better than the other rookies? Rio, man, come on, that was so sick! <laughs> you know, yeah, uh, okay, the guy won, but he did not look pretty behind the wheel. It, it, it physically pained me to watch that guy drop, you know what I'm saying? Saying this line to somebody that's basically a novice at racing games, this game, or just don't even care about driving perfectly makes sense. Saying this line to somebody that knows how to drive and belongs into the racing games hall of fame like addiction to gaming just doesn't make any sense. You may be able to drift this thing as an AWD, but how is it possible that you can burn out like an RWD? This is your first challenge weekend. Challenges are the true test of your skills. No need to bring your whip. Battle Machine is providing all of them. Just uh, don't ask where they got them, you know what I'm saying? Likely imported, exported, if you know what I mean. Gotta give Blackbot some credit about everything that's going on. Announcers, sponsors, cars, people, women, all that stuff. Gives you that immersion and it brings out the atmosphere that you're a part of a showdown competition. Taking away three cents, because I like this vibe. Well, I mean, you probably do too, but you don't see this often nowadays. Well, other than Forza Horizon, but it's not like what it used to be when the first game came out. Check this out, people. For the next 10 minutes and 10 minutes only, the lovely Sophia is going to be posing with four very famous cars. A gang of dudes out there recognize them, because I know you've done been whipped by them. That's right, we got the four cars belonging to the Kings. Yo, the Kings are straight up legends at what they do. Come on, check them out. <laughs> and of course, you can check out Sophia too. <laughs> hey, I'm here to look at cars that Jonathan Cross would love to tear them apart to see if they are legal for the streets. Not people of a certain gender that likely belong to the streets. Like a few examples. Also, why are the taillights on on these cars? Are they in the cars? Shouldn't they be off? Did Blackbots never had enough time to make more character models before the deadline? <laughs> well, you look at that. Seems Cooper has really made the Grip King a wee bit angry. Ooh, you were so close on getting disqualified. I have a question. If... The Kings crash out, whether accidents of the AI, meaning they mess up on their own, or we, the players, purposely crash them out, meaning we just bump into them or we do whatever to them. Wouldn't we, you know, technically win instantly, or we get disqualified for cheating? 
I'm bringing this up because wouldn't we just win technically and don't have to finish the event like the game intends to? Or are there certain rules that we have to follow that we don't get disqualified from the crown? And listen, I know this ain't no sanctioned motorsport, but wouldn't there be any competition rules that are supposed to be enforced? Just saying. I'm gonna add four sins on Cooper celebration. No, not because he does it four times, but because he likes to abuse the bonnets of these cars. Another question, if the game classifies the bosses as kings, but then the drag king is actually a woman, wouldn't it be drag queen? Isn't Carol Monroe a female name? Or what does Carol identify as? You see this? You see this? This isn't supposed to do that. Is this a joke? How can someone like him in a 65 GTO be posting records in Death Wish Desert? It would have been believable if he was driving a McLaren F1, or this thing, but a GTO. See, I would believe you, depending on the mods that you put into that thing in a straight line, but some place like the Nevada Highway. Yeah, right. Even with the inconsistencies that Nate Denver has in his GTO, which questions me why is he king again? Why is Ray a king? And why is Carol a queen? Or a king? Or whatever this game was to classify it as. I mean, Ray, there's a 9-11 that's better than you, man. And that's in your own crew. Carol, I, I don't know about you, but there's probably somebody that's a better king, or maybe a better queen than you. Rio Wannabe is a great king, as a show-off king. I mean, he, the ego is there, the hatred towards RC is there, but he just talks smack, and depending on what you're driving, it just shows the inconsistency on whenever he's gonna crash, or he just doesn't do good enough to beat you. Akikimura, let's face it, he's the only perfect king. A king that makes sense to hold a crown than everybody else. You could say that he's easy to beat depending on what you're driving and whatever many points he scores in the event that you're supposed to beat him, but he's the only king that makes sense out of everybody. I know there is no way that we can test his consistency because we can drift with him together in the same event, but he's still the best king out of all of these clowns. The best. The best. Pro Street, a very underrated game of this franchise. To some, it's probably one of the worst games of the franchise. And to others, it's one of the best of this franchise. And I gotta agree with that best one. Even though I made a video that regards about the 25 years of this franchise. And I said that Pro Street was part when the franchise fall. And to answer that question, if you ever eventually stumble upon the video or watch it. It's not that it's trash, it's just it paved the way to bad Need for Speed games. In other words, it's just a hit or miss with the gameplay in Pro Street. Handling and just the physics overall. It's not terrible compared to Undercover, but you just can't handle the car sometimes and it's pretty obvious when you go and try to survive in Death Wish Desert, or otherwise known as a Nevada Highway, or the cousin of Nurburgreen, the green hell. The soundtrack of this game fits perfectly with the theme, and I gotta say, I love this theme. Just like with Automata's graphics, how come we can't have this theme again in Need for Speed games or even in any racing game nowadays? And like I said in the video, the closest thing to it, at least from my view, is Forza Horizon. But then, it just wasn't the same after the first game. We sorta had those vibes again in Need for Speed Heat, but it's not the same thing. You can say that the demand is low, but then it will be a good time to bring this theme back and then people will pretty much buy it if done right. All right, right now I'm gonna do something that involves the kings of this game, the bosses. Before Cooper takes the crown out of everybody and becomes the king of kings, let's fix the list because majority of these guys are fools. Aki Kimura keeps his crown. No change there. Now, the two biggest embarrassments. Ray. Rudy Chen will be a better candidate to be king than you. 9-11 over E92. No disrespect. It just shows it on the gameplay. Nay! 
A GTO! And speaking of GTO, the announcer says 67 GTO, but the game classified us as a 65 GTO, so I don't know who to believe. But anyways... JP, you're up to be the speaking, because you make more sense with a Zonda than a GTO. In the case for Rio and Carol, well, that's debatable. You can check out this comment that I found in one of Addiction to Gamus' videos, specifically the one where he embarrasses Nate Denver that he is the worst king of them all. One thing that I find kind of odd about the announcer is that he sort of praises Cooper from the bottom to the top, but then he just gets on top of real until his ass gets handed to him and loses his evo and his crew also in regards about the highest position of a king can be is it street king or showdown king find it odd that we're not allowed to put any type of vinyl well almost any type of vinyl on the windshields windows and anything that's made out of glass like the boss cars and bear in mind this is before people started to mod pro street a lot you already know this is the part where you're supposed to remind me that I missed this and that, and if you want to correct me on something as well, add it to the comments, and change us encounters you please, but...